with me on this journey, and I hope to have a very uh, healthy stash of uh, long-term pantry items in the not too distant future. Okay, we've waited our full 15 minutes and the unit is informing me to close the drain valve and load the trays into the freeze dryer. So, first the drain valve. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is wiped clean before we proceed. Okay. First two, now I probably shouldn't have mixed them, but the first two are milk. And the last three are half and half. Okay, one more to go. And I expect that these will take longer than other ones have, but we'll see where it goes. So, locked her in, drain valve is closed, hit continue, and we start the cycle of freezing. And we'll come back after many hours <laughs> when this is all done. Hopefully I don't have a problem in here. I've been told to freeze milk and cream before it goes in. However, this is somewhat frozen, but not totally frozen. So we'll see how it goes. Leave it up to the freeze dryer to finish the job. Okay, I've taken out the two milk trays and I'm going to loosen them up, put them in a container, and we're going to put them through, turn them into a powder just for storage. Now, obviously this milk attempt was my first attempt at testing dehydrating milk, or oh, sorry, Okay, the freeze dryer has reached the process where it has finished processing and it asked me for more dry time. Now I pulled out the two trays that uh, are milk only and I allowed the other trays to continue while I process these. Um, the other trays are half and half cream. I did three trays of half and half cream and two of milk, the whole milk actually but they weren't terribly full like I was I'm, I'm not really pushing the limits of what I can put on these trays just yet so um, dry time is maybe perhaps a little quicker so here we go we're, we've got this just about broken up and I've got this little bucket that I or cereal container that I will drop everything into and from there we will grind this up. Okay, for my last batch of freeze-dried <laughs> goods, I did uh, two trays of uh, whole milk and three trays of uh, half and half cream and I'm just yeah, that's just flaking out. Okay, so I will um, put these both in. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a powder. But first I'll take it out of these trays. Light as a feather. Everything comes out of this machine light as a feather. Almost no weight to it whatsoever. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put it through my
actually I decided I'm going to break it up first, make it easier to pour into that, uh, turn it into a powder. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this works. Um, see if I can quiet it down just a bit. Definitely crystallized. Okay, what I plan to do there is put it in a mason jar. And we'll continue right along. Very nice. Okay, the last, oops. The last little bit here. Okay, and I will be uh, vacuum sealing this, not putting in an oxygen absorber for now because I want to use this as, uh, I want to use this product. I want to see what it's like. So for the time being, I'm just going to seal it up. And I have to label this as milk, otherwise I'm sure I'll confuse it with my uh, half and half cream because I don't think they're going to look that much different. Okay, we'll put that aside and now we're going to uh, take out the cream. I'm going to wipe this table and start. Okay, and here we have three trays of the heavier cream and it looks like this has freeze dried just as well and this of course is the one that I'm mostly interested in because we do use half and half in our coffee quite often and I always hate to be without it. So loosening it up from the tray right now definitely dry And hopefully this works the way I like it. And if it does, I will make more of this and put it aside. Our cream prices have gone from, well at Costco I used to be able to pick it up for $1.85. Now it's $2.65. And any regular store, I'll pay over $4 for a container of half and half. So yes, I always buy this at Costco still because that's the best price and on occasion other stores have a sale on the item but um, if I want that consistent price or a good price whenever I uh, want the product, the best place for me to shop for it is Costco at this point. As I said, sometimes other stores have sale prices but 
Not often. Okay, let's get this into my mixer. Well, get this chopped up. Crystallized, and then of course I definitely have to label these two. Now really there was not even a liter and a half, probably about a liter and a half in these three trays. I have not determined how to mix it up yet, and I may be doing that um, through test processes. Just the same way I'm testing this out, I will determine what the best rehydration method is. And I'm even considering just putting spoonfuls of it directly in my coffee and see how that works. Like not adding any water at all. Slightly different look to the crystallization, but not, yeah, it's a little softer. Okay, next jar. Okay, and definitely have to make sure the rim is free of particles, <laughs> otherwise this is not going to seal. Okay, now I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to go get some labels because I do have to differentiate between milk and cream. Okay, I'm going to put the label on the jar rather than on the lid, just in case the lid gets put aside. So this one is whole milk, and this one is my half and half cream. And as I said, I'm not going to put, I didn't put a, an oxygen absorber in this because I do want to test it. So tomorrow morning when I have my coffee, I think I'm just going to get scoopfuls of this and I don't know, a spoonful, two spoonfuls. I'm going to test it to see um, what the ratio that I like is and see if I like the flavor of it. You know, things change um, texture and flavor when you process them for saving them for long term. So yeah, there always is a bit of a difference with all foods and it's a matter of determining what is acceptable to you and what isn't. So this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and I have just completed another uh, freeze drying experiment and I'm sure that there's going to be lots more in the future and definitely uh, some food for storage. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll try these out. These are going to be my go-to uh, milk and cream containers and if I'm satisfied with it then we will be processing a fair bit for storage. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.